give now a short presentation on bits and pieces. Bits and pieces is generally about um, to trying to support the healthcare professional, um, but as we've seen yesterday, also the construction professional in um, saving informal learning experiences while the working time, while they are under um, heavy time pressure, so while the more bus uh, busy working time is trying to help to quickly collect via photo, video, audio, text, or a bookmark uh, important learning experiences, informal learning experiences. And while then the more flexible working time, uh, the learner is able to make sense of, uh, of the collected uh, bits and pieces, is able to label them, group them into meaningful learning episodes, um, he should be supported by recommendation in that time, and later on he should even be able to combine these different learning episodes into learning paths. Okay, um, while the working time, the collection of um, the informal learning experiences is currently supported by Evernote, but later on um, it should also be supported by Reflect or Ofsto, so the tools which are developed internally um, within our consortium. Then the sense making, which is here displayed in a corkboard style, where you can arrange the different informal learning experiences via icons, um, is then already the part of bits and pieces. And later on, also the arrangement of the different learning episodes uh, into the learning paths should also be part of bits and pieces. So, how does bits and pieces currently look like? Bits and pieces is divided into two parts. Um, the uh, upper part, which is currently a timeline, but there are different options for this timeline also. So it could also be a location-based uh, um, reminder, because this timeline helps you to remind about the informal learning experiences which you gathered by uh, time triggers. So if you, for example, um, capture the learning experience in January, you can zoom out, go back to January, go into January, then you maybe remember, okay, it was at the beginning of January, jump in, and then you are able to discover the learning experience again. Then you are able to drag, uh, drop down, drag and drop the learning experiences into the lower field, which, uh, in which you are able to organize these learning experiences um, on a 2D, uh, two-dimensional space and arrange them into different circles, so categorizing them, and for example here you could see uh, diabetes, so informal learning experiences related to diabetes, and informal uh, learning experiences related to dementia enhancement services, and in the overlap um, you could also arrange bits and pieces and make sense about the informal learning experiences, relate them to each other, and organize them. Okay. Currently, we are able to quickly and efficiently support the collection and tagging of information bits. And what's also currently supported is the, is the bit sorting. But the goal of year two is not only to support um, the collection, the bit sorting, but the guided bit sorting. So it should be supported by recommendations, by, for example, the labeling of the categories, but also by finding um, other informal learning experiences which might fit the current learning need too. Um, additionally, the collaborative sorting of bits should be uh, supported and the aggregation of bits and the awareness of hot topics which are currently um, uh, <coughs> yeah, important uh, in, for example, the practice the persons are working. So the goal of U2 is to enable guided bit sorting, collaborative bit sorting and uh, aggregation of bits and pieces to hot topics and the arrangement of these learning episodes, which are generated via this corkboard or via this organization, is then the target of year three. Okay, to give an outlook um, on the current development, because um, we are heading towards our next evaluation phase. This means that at the beginning of July, the next prototype should be ready. And at the beginning of August, or at the end of July, the next evaluation phase will start. And um, the, end, the end users in the healthcare area will get the prototype to use it in August. And here you can see that um, the new interface, this means uh, here in the above view, uh, the informal learning experiences of other persons should, could be displayed. On the right side, you will have a toolbar which can be opened and closed with additional functionalities, which I will introduce to in the following slides. And it will be supported here, for example, the guided bit sorting, so that 
the categories, uh, you get recommendations when you type in the first words for categorizing such a bubble. Okay, there are four new tabs in Sun. The first tab is the notification tab. This tab provides you with an overview over the different activities which happened in the <coughs> current, uh, which happened in the past uh, time in bits and pieces. And this is uh, displayed in such an activity stream where you see activities, messages that people send, um, but also notifications about what you should do with a single bit, for example. And these activities, these, the, which are currently uh, happening in the system, are analyzed about what they are and which topics are included. And this is displayed then above in a hot topics uh, tag cloud, where the people um, can be, um, when they look at it, they get aware of what topics are currently handled within the system of bits and pieces and within the projects the people are involved in. Then there is a search tab. This is the second tab. It helps you to find bits and pieces if it's not working to remember via the time-based um, cues in the upper part of uh, bits and pieces. So you can either type in um, a single uh, a word to find um, the informal learning experiences which you are searching for or via a tag cloud you are also able to access them. They are then displayed in the lower part and as you see in the new version of bits and pieces the different icons are um, a bit more differentiated because you have docs, you have PDFs, you have JPEGs so that you can um, yeah, better see which is the content of such an informal learning bit. But if this doesn't work you have in addition a bit tab. This bit tab helps you in remembering um, the single learning experience is even more because you have here, as you see, not only um, the kind of document which is included in such an um, informal learning experience and an icon, but you have a thumbnail also which points uh, you towards or helps you to remember the content of such an informal learning experience. In addition, there's the information of the author, the date, um, and also the amount of views and edits so that you might get a hint of the maturity or how many people um, we have contributed to the creation of this document. One more minute. Okay. Then there is uh, the possibility to also um, yeah, enhance, uh, you know, to enrich the document by putting um, text to this uh, document, but also um, text which are pre-given by the, um, by the um, GP practice. So archetypical models are included here. And at the end, you have a, um, an episode tab, which uh, gives you the possibility to share an episode either for co-editing or just sharing it simply as a copy. And uh, at the end, you already uh, also have an option to access all the different learning episodes which you have generated and bits and pieces over the time, so that you have an overview over your learning um, at the end. So, thank you very much.